just stopping in at the post office, Christina Lake. Pick up my awnings in for the van. Link will be in the description. Yeah, so hopefully it's not too big because I walked about a kilometer and I have to get down here. But perseverance. I got it. Awning. Yeah, it's pretty big. Probably 20 pounds. I only got a kilometer and a bit to go back. Switch shoulders, right? Because the world is your gym. Okay, once I get back, uh, maybe not today, but I gotta install this baby and I'll show you how I do that. Over and out. Okay, just got this last hill to go up. Like they used to say in the army, uphill so good. Downhill, no good. Done. Okay, we'll get this uh, awning open and see how we install it on the van. Okay, got her open. We've got a bag here, must be for all the hardware, mounting hardware I imagine. Let's see what we got in here. Nice case, nice bag. Okay. Yeah, we got the uh, Couple of mounting brackets. And pegs. Once you get the awning out, you can peg this in the ground or secure it. And of course the straps or ropes tie her down. And some more mounting equipment. Screws. Let's uh, read the instructions. Always read the instructions, right? And yeah, nice manual with it. Even color pictures. Whoa! I'll just follow along. It should be a very straightforward. Maybe here it's mounting to a roof rack oh mount directly to reinforced steel alloy canopy yeah that's the one I'm going to use we'll figure it out yeah. oh yeah I like the color green channel Okay, let's flip that open and see how she looks inside. Okay, strap down there and then unstrap it, roll her out. Okay, let's start at the beginning with the instructions. And take it from there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna have a bit of a dilemma here. 
So each situation is different depending on you mount it. Because we got these uh, angle irons. Now, this would go if it goes onto a roof rack and then you bolt it on the roof rack and then the, the awning would bolt on to the end here. But obviously there's no roof rack on the van. So I'm gonna have to try and bend it so that that's out. Bend a 90 in here maybe. So I can go right through with bolts. We'll have to figure it out because uh, I don't have a roof rack and I don't want to mount it on top. That's way too high. I'll get it. Yeah, I don't have a vise, so I'm going to try and uh, put it in my hitch here and get it started at least. Yeah, I gotta go a little more. I want that at a, I want to need it at a 90 degree. But that wasn't too bad so far. A little bit more. That's pretty close. Let's see how that's gonna look. So my idea is, uh, mount it like so and then bolt through the canopy or the raised roof yeah i think that's going to work canopy is 80 inches so i'll just go in uh divide by four and then go in 20 inches from either side for the bolts Hey, um, because of the window there on this van, you can't really go in just 20. I'll have to come out to the edge here. So whatever that is, I'll adjust the, on the other side. Not, not that it has to be exact, you don't even see these brackets, but uh, for best support, it should be spaced properly, I think. Okay. I might have to run to town to get longer bolts though. Well, I hate drilling holes in the canopy, but or the rooftop, but it's gotta be done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got the one side in. I have to take off some of the trim. That's okay, I'll just have to cut a notch with these plates. Same with over here, I'm gonna have to cut that down with the chisel and hammer. But you don't need to see that, it might get ugly. Okay, brackets are on. Now, you just slide the bolts that are provided in the track here. To approximately where I'm gonna need them. Then when I get it up there, I can pop it into the holes of the bracket. Probably easier with two guys, but I've been doing things on my own my whole life, basically, so no point getting attached to somebody now. Okay, awning's on. This bracket's actually worked. And I didn't have to get any of the bolts either. They, they fit. And it's out a bit, which I kind of like. Because now debris won't uh, build up behind the awning there. So I'm going to set it out. 
for the first time and uh, see how she looks and see how it works because I haven't done it before. Okay, so once you get it out this far, you just, at the beginning, you just undid the three Velcro, Velcro straps, pull the front out as I did, and you got these bars that come out on either side, and you got to Velcro them on. Now we got to run our strings down for support. Now once you got it out and anchored, then you can just adjust the sides to, to tighten them up. And voila! You can adjust the ends here where you got anchored. You just pull on it, tighten it up, snug it up. Snug up this side a bit. In the awning. Underneath, oh yeah, it'll be nice and high. Put that right over a picnic table or whatever. And yeah, you can adjust the poles for height if you need. I like to put a little angle going down just for the rink and run off to one corner or whatever. And that's it, it's gonna be a beaut. Good heavy uh, tarp. There you go. Any questions, just ask and I'll get right back to you. The link will be in the description. Please like, follow if you haven't. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.